October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, also known as Intimate Partner Violence Awareness Month. Approximately one in three women and one in four men will experience some form of intimate partner dating violence or domestic violence in their lifetime. It is very likely that someone you know is a survivor or may be suffering in silence. A tragic event unfolded in 2017 when 18 year old Stephanie Jones, a young mother from Milwaukee, had her life brutally taken by her boyfriend, Hakeem Tucker. Despite Stephanie's dreams and the promise of her future, Tucker's actions led to a devastating end. Their tumultuous relationship had spanned several years, beginning when Stephanie was just 16 and became pregnant with their child. The tragic climax occurred when Tucker, then 18, entered Stephanie's home through her open bedroom window where she lived with her parents. Stephanie's mother had raised concerns about Tucker's stalking and harassment of her daughter as he had reportedly threatened Stephanie and even brandished a weapon in previous incidents. On January 3, 2017, Stephanie's mother witnessed an argument between Tucker and Stephanie, leading to a heated altercation. Stephanie's father rushed to her aid and Tucker, in a tragic turn of events, shot him. He then refocused his aggression on Stephanie, shooting her in the chest. Stephanie's mother, with her two-year-old granddaughter, fled the scene for help. During the confrontation, Stephanie begged Tucker not to harm her father. Tucker was apprehended by the police two days later during an investigation of a suspicious vehicle. He was found with a weapon and initially confronted the authorities, but no fatalities occurred during his arrest. Tucker claimed that Stephanie's father also had a gun and that he had shot at them after a struggle. Tucker alleged that he had been shot in the leg, but did not provide evidence of his injuries. It appears that Stephanie and Tucker's relationship was marred by abuse from the outset. Stephanie's father survived the gunshot wound and underwent surgery. Prior to this incident, Tucker was on probation due to a previous armed robbery conviction. He faced multiple charges, including first-degree intentional homicide, attempted first-degree intentional homicide, and possession of a firearm by a felon. In court, on November 19th, Tucker was sentenced to 35 years in prison and 10 years of extended supervision for the reckless homicide charge, as well as 15 years in prison and 10 years of extended supervision for the reckless injury charge to be served consecutively. Additionally, he received a five-year sentence for each of the felon in possession of a firearm charges to be served concurrently with each other in the previous sentences, totaling 50 years in prison and 20 years of extended supervision. Although Tucker will more than likely spend the rest of his natural life in prison, he will still get to spend his life in prison, whereas you have a family who has lost someone they love and a child who will grow up without a mother and a father who is in the system. I know I've said this once, I'm gonna say it again. When someone shows you who they are, believe them, believe them. Don't give them a second chance to show you who they are because the next time will be worse than the first. Details emerging about the behavior of murder suspect Hakeem Tucker while in custody. According to the criminal complaint, Tucker asked investigators if he could see the photo of the victim's body at the scene. Then he, quote, started to laugh. The 18-year-old charged Monday with first-degree intentional homicide is accused of fatally shooting his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his two-year-old daughter, 18-year-old Stephanie Jones. I'm sick because I have no cousin. Prosecutors say Tucker crawled through a bedroom window of Jones' house in the middle of the night, armed 
armed with a pistol. Jones' mother told investigators Tucker had been stalking Jones and had threatened to kill her numerous times in the past. That night, Jones' mother says she witnessed Tucker shoot Jones' father and then shoot Jones. The 18-year-old was pronounced dead on the scene. Her father was taken to the hospital for serious injuries. Two days later, Milwaukee police took Tucker into custody. Chief Ed Flynn praising his officers' quick actions during the arrest. He aimed this pistol over his shoulder at the officers and was heard to say, shoot me, shoot me. Officer Dominey took control of Tucker's hand and twisted the firearm out of his hand. For child, tonight the life of 18-year-old Stephanie Jones is being remembered. Earlier today, she was honored by those she leaves behind. She shouldn't have to die, really, and then leave her, her daughter behind. She, she really shouldn't have to. Loved ones gathered near 41st and North today where Jones was killed. Milwaukee police say Hakeem Tucker shot Jones and her father at a duplex last week. Jones's cousin says the loss is tough, but it's shedding light on a much larger issue, domestic violence. I really feel that when a woman says, no, I don't want to be with you, then the male should be able to accept that. And it hurts my heart that he had to come in and take her, take her from us. Tucker was caught yesterday, but not before a struggle with police. Records show he was fresh out of jail after serving only nine of a 40-month sentence for armed robbery.